Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby, your daily call to prayer. Pray with us every day right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at morningoffering.com. Greetings, friends. Welcome to the Morning Offering with Father Kirby. Today is Sunday, April 14th, and today I'd like to talk about joy and amazement. But first, let's pray together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world for the salvation of souls, the reparation of sins, the reunion of all Christians, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, happy Sunday, friends. We are still within the Easter season, which means we are celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. The Lord is risen. He is truly risen. Alleluia. And today in our gospel reading, Mother Church gives us one of the accounts of the early church celebrating the risen Christ in their midst. So the apostles are there. The early Christian disciples are there. And those two disciples from Emmaus, they're just getting back from Emmaus. And they're so excited about what's just happened. And the Lord appears and they realize as a community that he is risen that everything he promised, everything that he said has been been fulfilled, that he has shown the immense love, the power that he has, and he has conquered the kingdom of sin and death, and he now welcomes us to follow him and welcomes us into the path of eternal life. And and it's powerful. And and the Christian community is filled with great joy and and wonder and amazement. And friends, I, I think we need to retrieve some of that. So oftentimes what happens is we can go through the Easter season and we can be living as Christians and we can say, yeah, yeah, Jesus rose from the dead and yeah, and, you know, and yeah, the sacrifice of the mass and Holy Communion. And well, and we, we just get kind of sluggish as if we're just taking it for granted or we don't honor or, or fully or truly understand what we're saying. Because friends, when we say Jesus Christ is risen, that means that the long-awaited Messiah who came among us who turned out to be God himself. We we were not expecting that. God himself fulfilled his promises. He allowed himself to be brutally treated, crucified, and on the third day, in fulfillment of his promise, he rose from the dead. Not a resuscitation, a resurrection. He destroyed those kingdoms of sin and death that caused so much suffering and pain for us. The Lord has vanquished them. He is victor. He is risen. And as Christians, we have to celebrate that because our fallen world, it kicks us, punches us, knocks us down. It can try to beat us up. It can try to steal the hope that has been given to us by God. But we have to look to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. In difficult times or dark times, times of great suffering, we can look to the resurrection and say, I know, Lord, that you have conquered this, that you are above this, and you're calling me out of this suffering. Lord, I will follow you. You are the risen one. You are the victor. You see, dear friends, the fallenness of this world, it only has the control over us that we give to it. And we need to stop giving that control away because our hearts, who we are, that all belongs to Jesus Christ. And he is risen. And he has shared that glory and that hope with each one of us. So friends, rejoice. Be amazed. The Lord is risen. Amen. Hallelujah. He is truly risen. And those are our thoughts for today, dear friends. I want to thank you for joining me. I encourage you to keep fighting a good fight. And remember, you can receive daily spiritual encouragement sent right to your inbox when you subscribe to The Morning Offering at morningoffering.com. God bless you. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Morning Offering with Father Kirby is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.